What's up guys, this is Ty, the Asian Wonder, your online personal trainer again. In this video tutorial, I want to show you guys how to rehab your hand after surgery. If you've had a boxer's fracture from fighting or from uh, boxing or anything like that, or if you get into an accident where you break your hand, or any kind of accident or any kind of surgery on your hand from carpal tunnel syndrome, or anything like that, anything that has to do with the hand and you want to strengthen it and make it fa uh, stronger, faster, this is how you do it, right? Especially if your hand has shrunken from being inside a cast or anything like that, this is one of the most powerful exercises that you can possibly do to quickly rehab and strengthen your hand again, right? And get your finger mobility back, okay? So here it goes. What you're gonna do is I need you to follow along with me. You're gonna take your hand and you're gonna roll it towards the inside of you and just roll it. You're gonna do that about 20 times. Okay, now if you, your hands have been in a cast for a while, it may be slightly un, dis, uh, uncomfortable and there might be some discomfort and just ignore it unless as long as there's no sharp pain, it's okay. So just roll your hand like that and you're going to roll it about 20 times. And it's not just kind of any kind of roll. When you roll it, you want to make sure that you point it. Try to touch your fingertips to your, your wrist or your forearm as much as you can. Every time you come around, try to touch your fingertips like that. Okay, so that this way, what it'll do is it'll start to strengthen the forearms. Okay, especially if you've been in a cast for a while, this will really, really be beneficial. And I've had my hand broken before due to a, a boxer's fracture before, so I know it can be very, very discomforting as you do this. But just trust me, after a couple of training sessions and a couple of days, this will go away. Okay, so the first exercise that you need to do is do the rolling exercise, do it with both hands. And as you do this, even if you only have to rehab one hand, the hand that's messed up, I would still recommend that you do it with both hands, all right? So do it together like this, and after you do it like 20 times, then switch it and go to the other side, and rotate it to the other side like that, okay? So 20 on the inside, towards the inside of your chest, the center of your body, and then 20 to the outside, away from your body, away from the center of your body. After you do those wrist rolls, the inside and outside wrist rolls, the next exercise I want you guys to do is the finger curls, right? And this is how it does, uh, it works. I want you to take one hand and take the other hand and put the fingers on top of each other like that. And if you will, if you need to, pause the video and follow along with me, So okay? So put your hand here like that. And the first exercise that you're gonna do is we're gonna rehab the hand that's facing you, the palm that's facing you is the one that we're gonna do first, okay? So let's pretend that I'm rehabbing the hand that has the watch on, okay? So I'm gonna do this with the thumb, I'm gonna come in 10 times, right? And I'm gonna try to touch as far as I can to the other side of my hand with my thumb. So that's one, two, three, and then when I come out, I wanna come out as far as I can and then come back in as tight as I can. So that'd be one rep, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After you do it for ten reps, then what you do is you move this hand over here, the spotting hand, to come over here and cover all four fingers, right? And you're gonna curl this finger in now, the index finger. Now, when you do this, it's gonna be extremely painful all the way down here, the ligaments and the tendons down the palm of your hand right here, but I want you guys to just you know, bear with it and come like that. So try, the goal is to try to touch the fingertip into the palm. Now you, you're not gonna be able to do it in the beginning, but I want you to practice doing it anyway. Now my hand is healthy and I can barely touch it, okay? And as I'm doing this, there's sharp pain shooting all the way down into my forearms. And what it is, is most people are not used to training the tendons and the ligaments and the muscles that attach to moving their fingers. So when you're doing this, when you're doing this at home, it really, really helps to strengthen this, okay? Now, after you do this for 10 reps, the next thing you can do is take the spotting hand, which is the hand that you're not focusing on right now, and cover up the other four fingers, leaving just the finger that's the active finger that needs to be rehabbed. So now, I'm gonna touch it to my palm, come up, touch it, come back, Touch it, come back. Touch it, come back. And if, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's muscles inside my forearms that you can see moving like that, okay? Now, I have it set so the exposure's a lot brighter so that the video looks more clear, so you may not be able to see the muscles flex, but just do it at home. So do that 10 times, come out, take the spotting hand, cover up the next four fingers, and now it's the ring finger that I'm training. So you're gonna do that 10 times right there. 
right? And then finally, cover up these four fingers and just leave the pinky and come out as far as it can. Come out, come in, come out, come in, like that. So you're gonna do it four times. So basically, the strategy is to cover up four fingers and leave the one open finger to do the curls and then move on to the next finger and keep going around. When you're done, you would switch up and the other hand, you would do the same thing too, right? And repeat the process over and over again. Now, here's a few tips on making it better. When you're done, the two biggest muscles in your hand are the muscles of the thumb and this muscle right here. So when you finish, right, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see this better. What you wanna do is you wanna start massaging this right here, like that. If you have any soreness in your hand, massage that right there, right? And massage this right here, okay? So that's how you would do it. The other thing that you can do also is that there's pressure points in between each uh, metacarpal, each uh, bone in your hand. So in between it, you can massage it lightly like that to get to break up the scar tissue and to get the muscle flowing again, right? Right there, just like that. And what I would do is I would massage it with the, uh, the ridge of my thumb Okay, so again, let me do it on this side so you guys can see it. You can massage it like that, right? And it, there may be some discomfort, but it's okay. You want, you want to go ahead and do it anyway so it breaks up the scar tissue. Remember guys, the key to all physical rehab in your body is breaking up that scar tissue and getting blood to flow into the area so that the body can send nutrients and send protein in there to repair that area. So the sooner that you break up the scar tissue after surgery or after your hand comes out of a cast, the faster it is that it'll recover. Now, you wanna do these internal and external wrist rolls um, once a day and you wanna do the, uh, the finger curls, each finger curl once a day also, a whole set of them. Um, if you're working in the office or anything like that or you're at home, you can stop like uh, during the middle of a break or during lunch break and do these uh, rehab exercises and it will drastically, drastically strengthen your wrists and your fingers and your hands so that you can have mobility and grip back in your hand again. If you have arthritis, um, this is also a pretty good, depending upon how degenerative your arthritis is, but this is also a good exercise to help strengthen your finger control and as you get older, to be able to fully control your fingers, right? So hopefully that's able to help you guys out, learn how to rehab and strengthen your wrists and your fingers and your hand movements. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll try to answer it for you. Thanks for watching this video. 